welcome to our videos. We're very close up because <laughs> you gotta drop your barbecue stuff. We're um, eating Carl's Jr. My mouth's getting watery just thinking about it. I'm already eating. I'm gonna get this part. This one's the biggest one. So I don't know which one is this one. It's the Western burger. Barbecue. Barbecue just fell. Or it's just a piece of meat. Joss has been trying to have me record myself eating, so. <laughs> There's a pause to be in a diet, but. <laughs> Today does not apply. <laughs> I gotta make me choke. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I saw you eat the burger. <laughs> In the camera, and then I go barbecue sauce all over my mouth. You're not even in the film. Mm. So we were trying to be healthy. Mm -hmm. We went to Panera. I got this ugly sandwich. It was disgusting. I'm gonna that. You I'm know when you taste health. <laughs> <laughs> And then, hmm. what is it? I've been trying to make her do mukbangs because she just eats in a way that I feel like would be appetizing. Sounds gross. I watch a lot of mukbangs, so. Hmm. Yeah. But they're literally always in a dark room. It's in <laughs> this is real, this is in our car. I'm hungry. You can't really see the food because we're in the car. But it's fine. I did half of a burger now because I had COVID and I can't eat the same. My appetite went bye bye, so. I could kind of taste it, but no smell. So. My dip is too far away. So what do you guys, what do you do in my bank? Do you just eat the whole time? Well, it depends. There's like ASMR, but this definitely wouldn't be considered ASMR. Because mm. there would be no talking. And you would literally have like a microphone or something. So then they could really hear the crunch and stuff. Mm. And then they would go like... <laughs> but they wouldn't be making those noises. They'd just be like weird stuff. It's funny because we're parked right in front of a Dunkin' Donut. So oh. anytime someone passes by, they like see us. Just... I'm not craving it, but it's temptation. But I think it's better. Krispy Kremes is my donut place. But yeah, in a regular mukman, you just talk. Okay, so what should we talk about? Let's talk about what we did today. We went grocery shopping. And we went to Costco. Mm. Okay, it's going to fall. It's out. Not on me. I have a habit. Every time I eat, my food always falls on my clothes. So that's summer. Mm. I cut myself today. <laughs> I was cutting up. I was making oatmeal with fruit and I'm trying to be healthy. And I cut myself cutting the apple. I like to put my oatmeal in the blender. I like it smooth. I don't like it all like chunky. I water it down with almond milk. Anyways. Back to the subject, what we're talking about. Yes. What else did we do? I feel like I'm the only one talking. Yeah, I should eat. I know. She's quiet because she's eating. 
I'm trying to think of something, like a good topic. I told him what we were doing. You remember that uh, one uh, mukbang that I showed you? The gay couple? Yeah, and they just talk about drama. But, like, we don't have any. Yeah, I pretty much, like... We're, like, really lame. We actually... I usually I actually cut out all the people mm-hmm. that are toxic in my life. They don't bring anything good, so... Yeah, I don't have any more drama. Thank God for that. <laughs> I don't want no more drama in my life. Mm-mm. That stuff could get you sick, guys. I know, I've been through it. How you talk to people in your life is bad. Not only that, like, just like, in general, everything. When you're younger, you could like, go through it and be like, whatever. But as you age, for example, myself, you get sick and you have to take medication, and that sucks. But since I cut those people out, I haven't got sick, so I don't take no medication. Anyway, in a positive note, so we went to Costco, <laughs> and then after that, but before that, we went to grocery outlet. Anything else? To TJ Maxx. Where's the Marshall? No, we went to Marshalls. Was it TJ Maxx or Marshalls? One of the two. We went to go buy my dog some dog bones. I mm. try to look for stuff, but then mm. I was too picky. There's like powdered sugar everywhere. It's funny because yesterday, winter notes from that, I had to buy Christmas gifts early. And we went to Nordstrom Rack, what else did we went to? We we're not even go to the store, we went online. Mm-hmm. I mean, all the stores are available to her fingertips. Oh, and we there's... also went to Marshall's. She still didn't find anything. I'm really picky when it comes to- It's annoying, to, like... it's annoying. And then, and then I tried to buy her a dresser. And then we went to like five stores that day. Yeah, but you agreed with me that you didn't even find anything like good. The thing is, Tell me if it's only me, guys, but, like, are you guys just, like, really picky to with your stuff? Like, you're not just going to buy anything that you see? Or you got to love it. To buy it. Any more napkins. Mm. That's my motto. If you don't love it, then why buy it? It's just a waste of time and money. That's what I taught her. That took me a so while. So now she's picky, too. But not at your, not the way you are. You're like at another level. I'm more picky in my sandals. Because my feet are weird. But besides that, I think that's the only thing I'm picky on. Mm. No, I'm picky with everything. I have to burp. I already burped. <laughs> so, remember how I told you I can't really eat anymore because of COVID? One of the symptoms is when I can't eat no more. I start burping. It could be the coke too, but I feel like I want to throw up. So I'm already getting full with half, and it's annoying because I could. You eat. haven't even ate the. I'm trying to eat. Hmm. The thing is, when she, like before, she would eat. Mm-hmm. You know how you see those people, and you'll be like, "How? Where does it go?" That's my mom. I used to have the luxury. Now I don't have it. It's kind of amazing. Like, it's depressing. I even talked to my therapist. And she seems like she doesn't care. But emotionally, I get depressed because I could sit there and eat like a whole plate and then have dessert and then appetizer before that. And I'll eat like a bird and it's depressing. Most people are like talking crap like, oh, you should feel lucky. But it's no fun when it's like your way anniversary. You want to indulge and you can't. You need to settle for half, not even half, more than less than half, that amount. Like um, child size. Exactly. If anybody has a symptom and they overcame it, can you please leave a comment below so that I know I have <gasps> and my food almost fell, Jocelyn. That I have some type of like hope. Oh yeah, and I can't smell. Like sometimes I could smell. Because we all had COVID in my house. Besides my husband. Because he had the COVID shot. 
but I used to smell and then sometimes it comes in and out like right now I can't smell anything like sometimes when I cook I have to have my daughter smell or taste the food because I don't know if I put too much salt or is if it has a like a good balance of flavor flavor in it I'm sorry if I keep uh, I'm trying to get in the frame but like I have to go like this every time and I can't eat I can move a little bit. It may fall. There you go. I do. Better? Yeah. Mm. I'm done. We shared, we shared a burger. This was mine. I have, this was mine, right? I think that one was yours. Because mm. I put my thing mm. on the bag. Jocelyn. You actually like finished most of the fry, I don't know if you can see it. I have nothing. That's not nothing. That's something. Look how they got everywhere. We just got the car clean too. Yeah, we had a car wash yesterday because it's been raining over here in California. Like for a whole month. But I'm excited for spring and the summer. Oh, by the way, don't even feed me that right now because I'm working on my French fries. Oh, this is a French show. They're really good. I recommend them if you guys haven't. And they're them. vegan, supposedly, right? Mm-hmm. I have to read a hamburger. <laughs> I try to be vegan. Mm. Okay, I can't eat no more. I'm being sick. You want the rest of the French rice? I guess. Mm. It's only four. Mm. Put in there. You're done with it, right? Yeah, I'm done. And then, so, anyways, so my COVID symptoms. I had COVID too, by the way. But she wasn't as bad. Kylie. I healed faster than she did. The only symptoms I still have is I can't really smell. I could taste, and I, like, I either have to have it really close to me has to be really really strong for me to smell it hers is more of like her appetite isn't the same cool there's a part that was honky behind us I'm gonna get the honky and I mean some part so mm. oh one of the symptoms is we really miss Disneyland <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm so funny. And yeah, we didn't go anywhere to get COVID. COVID came to us from yeah. a family member. You won't mention. But uh, yeah, I still have lingering symptoms and it sucks ass. So every day I'm reminded that I had COVID. Every time I take a bite in my food. Can you imagine how horrible that could be? Okay. I was going to come down. I try to eat as much as I can. <gasps> you know what would be a good title? Mm. Trying to eat after having COVID. Mm. Yeah. But you're not, you eat perfectly. I eat fine. But the thing is, I've always had like a really, what is it? I crave a lot of things, but I've always ate like a lot of like small portions. Let me get a little closer. I can hold the phone for you. I'm gonna have a better angle now because uh, here we go. No, I don't look so so pale here. Here we go. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now with the food. And we still have Jocelyn's eating these French toast. I ate I'm one. I'm trying to get full. You leave this for Kylie. Sorry. Kylie's our, our daughter. Well, I say our daughter, but Dawson thinks she's a mother sometimes. Because I take care of her a lot. And also, comment down below or agree with me if it's only with Hispanic families that, like, the oldest always. I, I never got taken care well, of. Well, some. Whichever, <laughs> like, wherever you're, whatever race you are. But the oldest always takes care of the youngest as if it's their own child. 
or it's like always taking responsibility for them. Oh yeah, and I for, I'm sorry guys, I've been having to do a video for a long time. Seriously, I had COVID, I moved. We're building a pool right now. So that's like um, something that's happening. A lot of new things, a lot of changes. Last time, was it that I was on there? Sorry, I burped. I was in high school. I'm not in high school anymore. She's in college now. Yeah. She's a college girl like her mama. We're a college girl. We're two. I'm trying to clean up the powdered sugar. We're two college girls on our way to a new adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I'm in Sayori. So we're going to get going because I got to go shopping still. I got to go to Target to get the rest of the things. And we don't eat like this or shop like this all the time. It's only like maybe two and two times in this week well one time for shopping and then like well we go eat. we go shopping on mondays that's like a grocery day and it takes us like five hours because we go to grocery outlet we it's go because to we are bar bargain hunters, hunters. <laughs> and we go to different places to find the best prices which is like honestly the best way i get it for people who don't have the time and they're constantly working but we don't we have a job we're jobs. blessed so. Our, our husband, my husband pays for everything. Our husband. <laughs> my husband pays for everything. And um, so we're blessed with that. And we do the videos on the side when we are when we have time. We will love to do more, but it's just that school takes a toll on us. And we're going to, in the summer, we'll probably do more. But we're going to be in summer school this semester because I'm trying to finish and go to university. I'm almost done. And then Jocelyn's still trying to figure out her major. If anybody has any ideas for her, because she's thinking about being... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's a thing which I know a lot of my friends are struggling with, it, with is their major. Picking their major. Because you have to pick, like, one thing for the rest of your life. And I can see myself as multiple things. And I've tried taking the, like, quiz of, like, oh, what you should be based on the answers that you've picked. And I'm going to have a meeting with my counselor literally tomorrow discussing this issue. But if you guys have any better options... Well, you should list some options so they already know. You said you want to be a dermatologist. I Well, there's a lot of things I wanted to be. A lawyer. A lawyer, dermatologist. An anesthesiologist. Mm -hmm. what I was, forgot about that. What about another one? What was another one? A vet? And the then, thing is, the only downplay about being a vet is, you know, all the student loans. Yeah, the downside And you don't of it. get paid enough to pay it off. Mm -hmm. And I was watching this documentary and this, like, multiple videos about current vets who are struggling with that and they're like i won't be done until i'm like 60 or 70 it's, i don't want that to be my future it's funny because with her she's like mom how did you know i'm like i didn't know until my 30s what i wanted to be because i was in um a cosmetology school so i went through that and then still that didn't work out and so now I wanted to be a therapist, well, a psychologist, because I went through so much trauma as a child and continue having trauma as an adult um, for most of my life. So that was a given. It was already there. I can't tell her, hey, you know, be this. It's not calling to her. It's, it's going to be more difficult for her to choose. So in that sense, I told her, well, you got to really think about it because it's a big decision. And she wants to be something major, not like, oh, I'm going to be a medical assistant like something's gonna take real quick it's gonna be like 10 12 years of school so she's thinking about like higher degrees you know so that's gonna take a lot of time and effort so hopefully tomorrow when she has that appointment with her counselor she could brainstorm and figure out what she wants to be or have some type of idea before the summer because this summer she's gonna take summer courses and I'm already finished with all my general classes because she's super smart and she because <laughs> I'm super smart uh, yes because no she, she's super smart in my eyes because when I was in school I wasn't like I had difficulties and she had the luxury of help and even on top of that she was motivating herself to become better than me and her family and she is better in every way uh, I feel like hopefully we could pray on it and see what you could become something I, I want her to become a dermatologist just because she benefits. wants me to become a dermatologist so I can fix her and help her. Not fix me. Well, I'm perfect now. I mean, when oh I get God. old. Well, exactly. Little touches. When I get but older. But that's an advantage for her. For me, I don't know. 
I want her to become what she what she's gonna enjoy when she's fifty. I just see myself as a lot of things because I enjoy different things. Well, because she has a lot of talents on the top of that too. Like she, you're not just like good in one thing; you're good in multiple. Yeah, things. I've never been a person that's like only one thing. I have like multiple things. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, how can you just pick one? And plus, I wouldn't say I'm perfect at all of those things. I'm just good at them. Because yeah, because if she was perfect, it would be a given and be like, oh, I want to be this. Yeah. You know, if it's, it's, she has, like, she's decent in that area. But if she, like, works hard enough, she can become better than what she is now. But it's hard for her because it's like, there's, when you go into fields that are, like, doctor or I wanted whatever. to do something in the medical for a long time. Like, once you think about it, most of the things are all medical. Mm -hmm. But I suck at science. And, biology. and I'm like, that's what? all. That's all you're constantly doing. Well, her biology, she's not bad. I'm it's not bad, but I don't enjoy it. I wouldn't want to be like, ah, oh, yes. For I the think. Rest of my I life. think the reading is a tongue twister. Like some of the words, I, I have biology right now, and I feel like, like Kylie I have to look be up really the words because. Oh, yeah, Kylie. Yeah. Because she she could easily memorize terms that I'm like, Whoa. like yeah, like she Kylie is very good at like big words. She remembers them. She remembers the meaning of it. She puts it in a sentence. I always tell you, she become a doctor because she has that like picture memory. Me and Jocelyn, we're different. We don't learn that. Either. We don't learn like that. We learn by repetition, and that could take us a while. Mm -hmm. You know, so just everybody learns different. But anyways, this is. We're in, we're getting into over, over. oh yeah, so we're gonna let you guys go because we still have more shopping to do. I mean, I guess we could like show you what we get, but it's nothing interesting. Yeah, it's just like it's just things we need. Well, is this a <laughs> mukbang turned into like over? It's just a mukbang that turned into a deep conversation about ranting or ranting about our lives, about school and everything. But anyways, guys, we're gonna let you go. I hope you guys like the video that we gonna post in the next. I don't know, maybe tonight. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.